Hey gorgeous, welcome to Aligned Ascension. Frequency attunement, human design, and business energetics. I'm Christy Avis. This is your Aligned Ascension. Ah, we are live! Hello, hello everybody! Welcome to day three of the High Profile Masterclass. I'm so, so excited! I'm really, really excited because today is the finale. This is what we've been leading up to over the last three days with day one really being about the neural connections and how to rewire our brains. Day two really going into how to how to deeply get into like aligning to your unique human design and getting into like all of the nitty gritty details of like sales mindset and all of the things. And today we're going into all of the profile lines and how to really let that shine through in your brand and your action and the way you're showing up in the world, right? Because when we align to our profile, it's like the unique expression of who we are in the world, which is so freaking powerful. So I'd love to know in the comments as you guys are popping on, if you've caught day one and two, and if you're ready for three, I definitely recommend if you are here and you have not caught day one and day two that you go back and watch them, they will be filed in to the guide section of this group so you guys can continue to watch them and enjoy them over time. So I'm super, super excited. I'm super excited. We are going into a lot of deep stuff today. So this is going to be, I'm going to try to keep it at about an hour. Um, and we're going to be really deeply going into like the expression of the profile lines. Hi, Holly. Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you. How are you? I, I have filed one, day one into the guide section. I'll be filing day two, but they're super, super good. So you should definitely go watch them if you're feeling called and if you're feeling drawn. Um, we've got the Sunday morning vibes going on. If you guys see me messing with my nose, I just got this pierced for my birthday. Uh, my birthday is on Wednesday. And I'm super, super excited, but it's definitely like a little bit, a little bit irritating. So I'm getting, getting used to it. I don't like this style of piercing. Like I like when people have like the pretty sparkly ones, not with the little things on the end. So I'll be able to change it in like two months, but I'm really, really excited about it. So let's dive in. Let's dive into the content. Um, and as you're watching, you can drop your profile lines below. I'm going to explain where to find these things. If you're watching the replay, I'd love for you to drop your profile line in the comments as well. So we can make sure that everybody understands where I'm getting this information from. Right. So when you are looking at your human design chart, um, and I know most of you watching, watching this masterclass have gotten your human design chart, but if you have it and you want to be able to participate, you can go to www.mybodygraph.com, pull a free human design chart, and you'll be able to see all of the information. I know in the future, I'm going to be doing some more introductory trainings on human design. So look forward to that, which is going to be such a vibe. Um, but when we're looking at our chart, we have those two. Oh, yay. Okay. Yeah, you guys know, like amazing. So we have those for anybody who doesn't understand. We have those two lines where we have numbers and planetary alignments within them. Um, and this isn't part of the actual like body graph chart. What this is going to be is there's going to be two numbers at the very top. These are going to be your conscious and unconscious sun. This makes up our profile right? Our profile is 70% of the expression of who we are. And so that's why our profile lines are de derived from that. So we can really, really powerfully understand how 70% of our unique energy interacts. All of the other planets and the north and south node of the moon and things like that, those are, those are different percentages of expression in and of themselves. And those come into play when we start to get more into advanced human design, right? We want to get into the embodiment of the bigger pieces before we really start to dive and dig deep into those. So at the very top on your conscious and unconscious sun, you're going to have a number and then you're going to have a point and then another number, right? We are looking at the number after the point after the point, right? And so when we have, when we're looking at our chart, we have this, this, um, sorry guys, I'm really bad with my left and right. I'm that person who has to see the L and then I'm like, 
Oh, that's left. Okay, so so on the right side, we're gonna have our conscious sun, which is gonna be our black, right? And so what is your point after that? And then over here, we have our unconscious, which is our point after that. Both of those numbers, it's gonna be a one, two, three, four, five, or six. Those are going to come into play in your alignment and your unique expression. Because what this is really about is I'm gonna go into all six of these numbers today and how they apply to your business, what the shadows are of them and what you're really like tapping into for your unique strengths, right? So within these, within these profile lines, this is the most authentic expression of you when you're aligned to it, when you're aligned to it, right? And so when we're in authentic expression of ourselves, that's when we're in the most alignment within our audience, within our content, within our brand, right? And so that authenticity actually allows us to, it's, it's like this, this which came first, the chicken or the egg, relaying us, like being in alignment to our human design type and strategy and authority will in turn cause us to be in in alignment with our profile and being in alignment with our profile will in turn help us to be in more alignment with our, our type our strategy and our authority if that's making sense so i'm i'm so excited okay cool so we have we have twos we have fours we have sixes we have ones threes any five lines here I am a one, or I'm a five one. <laughs> I have a one and a five in my profile. So yes, a one, three, two, four, Manny Jen, six, two, amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm so, so, so excited to dive into this. So as we've learned over the last three days, that when we're in alignment, when our brain and body are on board, we're rewiring those neural pathways, we are getting into how to be in the most authentic expression of ourselves. I've talked to you guys a lot about auras, right? The energy field exp expanding past our body. This aura is something that has grown within our alignment to our profiles, right? Because when we're in an authentic expression of ourselves, what's happening is this is this gets a little bit deep into like the gene keys and things like that, but we actually tap into higher expressions of our genes, right? We talk about like the shadow, the gift, and the sidhi and things like that. These are things that are a little bit deeper that I go into with more advanced human design. But what you need to know is that when you are expressing authentically, you're in alignment and when you're in alignment you actually have more energy within your body because when we're out of alignment when we're in a space of misalignment we're actually deactivating some of the higher expressions of those genes and so this is this is getting into like our light body and things like that but when when we're getting into that authenticity our aura is expanded and people really feel us this is what this is about right because you guys our auras are communicating. Even though this is like the, the field around my body, this is something that is felt through words. This is something that is transmitted through books. Even when you're reading a book from somebody, you're tapping into the aura and the energy they were in when they wrote it. That's why I really, really love to be in alignment with my profile when I'm writing content when I'm pitching my services, when I'm just taking photos, right? Like you feel somebody's aura through their photos. You feel somebody's aura through being live with them. You feel somebody's aura through the words that they're using. And this is something I want you guys to really, really tap into is that this is not a limited thing, right? It's like we've heard about distance Reiki and things like that. Auras are the same. We can feel them over long distances, even if you guys are on the other side of the planet. Like I know there's some people in this group who are in Australia and, and Britain and things like that. Y'all feel my aura if you're watching this video, even if you're not here live with me, even if you're on the replay. And so we want to utilize this in the way we're showing up, whether that's in our jobs, whether that's in our businesses, whether that's for our audience or for our families, right? Because when we're in alignment, we cause higher expressions for other people too. They really feel us, right? And this really comes down to not working so hard within our business and within our brand and within the things we're trying to achieve within our life because we start to allow our energy to do the work. 
when our aura is expanded, we have more things coming in that we get to say yes and no to, right? Like just because your aura is expanded doesn't mean like everything's going to be a yes, but when our energy is kind of collapsed, we're not open to receiving. We're not open to receiving the clients and we're working really, really hard. And so everything that we, this is why so many people in the industry have an attachment to hard work equals money because they're reproving that and reaffirming that within their brains, right? Because they're working hard. They're doing all the things they're hustling and they're going and they're going and they're going and they're posting and they're posting. And it is reaffirming within their mind that their hard work is the thing that's getting them the thing instead of their energy. And what I really want you guys to tap into is that it's the energy, right? It's the energy that's doing the communication for us today. And so as I go through these profile lines one by one, you guys get to tap into the higher expression of each one of these. And then you get to be showing up more authentically expanding your aura, letting your energy do the work for you. And it will literally blow your mind what happens when you align in this way. Hi, Brittany. Oh my gosh. It's so good to see you. Yes. I feel the wealth. <laughs> yes, literally. And this is one of those things like I've been working on wealth within all areas of my life, right? Wealth in money, wealth in time, wealth in ease, wealth in health. Health has been the one thing where I'm really, really, really working through some deep blocks right now and deep beliefs and doing a lot of like chakra work within my human design system to elevate myself into higher believing. But my alignment to my human design means nothing if I'm not rewiring the neural pathways, right? So every single day when I'm having like a food reaction to something weird, I'm rewiring and going, this is good. This means that my body's working. This means that someday, because I have a desire, right? We talked about the fact that if we have a desire, it's possible for us. It means it's possible that I have to heal. Do I still fall sometimes in that area? Yes, but I truly believe that when we elevate in health in all areas, like when we elevate in income, it also elevates in our health, right? It also elevates in our ease. It also elevates in our freedom and in our flow. So as you guys are expanding in these areas, it's like riches in all areas. Yes, oh my gosh. I'm gonna need to catch the replay. No worries, Melissa. It was so, so good to see you. Thank you so much for being here for the first few minutes. Um, and yeah, this, this replay will be posted to the guide section of the group. So you guys can go back and rewatch the replay and really, really integrate this work because I, I love this content. I love this, having this free content available for you guys to be able to tap into when you're feeling a little bit disconnected from your human design, when you're not knowing how to show up in your business. Right. And so if you, if you go back, you can watch the replays. If you have people in your lives who are interested in human design, invite them to the group. They'll be able to watch the replays as well and I always always appreciate when you guys spread the word about me and well, the work we're doing in the world right I was tapping into it really deeply last night and um tapping into like the vibe of what my bigger vision is because my my bigger vision is not to teach people about human design it's not to teach people about like their their profile and their alignment to their design my bigger vision is that people are tapping into this work to quit their full-time jobs to take their families on vacation, to feel ease, to align to their higher selves. This is like the bigger mission of this work. And so you guys get to tap into this as well. So let me look at my notes. Let's see where we are. So you guys know where to find your, your profiles, whether that's conscious or unconscious. If you guys have any questions about that and you're watching the replay, just make sure you tag me in it because I get a lot of comments on, on these videos, which I love so, so much, but I wanna make sure that if anybody needs help, that you are not getting lost and your comments not just like disappearing in all of the comments. So tag me at Christy Avis. Okay, so we know where to look. Let's start with the lower house. The lower house, so, if you guys have any familiarity with human design, you know that the, the profiles are, the profile lines are broken down into two different pieces, right? There's the lower house and then there's the upper house, the lower trigram and the upper trigram. What this means isn't a big deal. We use a house to describe the profile lines because it helps us kind of understand how they build off of one another. But the thing you need to know is that the lower house is the profile lines of one, two, and three. And what this means, these three are very, they're, they're not interpersonal. They're very personal focused first and then reflected outwards, right? 
they're they're inward focused and then they're they're reflected outwards so what these people are really really doing is they are in a space of self-anointing right and then they're able to step in their power and show up more powerfully now when you're looking at both of these both of these profile lines we're going to look at them in tandem with each other in combination so let's say i'm going over a one and a five and you have both of those in your in your profile lines for your conscious and unconscious son, you're gonna kind of combine the information and use both pieces. But I'm gonna go into them individually, right? So as you go into this, we're gonna go into one first, then we're gonna build off of it. But just remember that one, two, and three are really about yourself first and then helping others. When you get into the upper house, four, five, and six, that's when it's really, really like interpersonal karma, right? That's when we're talking about showing up to help people, showing up for deep transformations for others. And a lot of you guys will have a combination, right? A lot of you guys will have a combination of like, I'm supposed to focus on myself in this aspect and then focus on others in the other aspect. But all of this is about expression. All of this is about your, your, how you're like communicating your energy to the world. So, Let's dive into line one. So you guys are the investigators. Let me know if you have a one in your profile. My line ones, I have a line one as well. You guys are the investigators, the creators, and the foundation. This is really, really important. You guys are the lines who are all about creating a solid foundation. You guys are the, the people who are doing the research, right? You are the lifelong learner right? You guys are the kind of people who will go out and be interested in something and then you will get to the bottom of it. You're not okay with surface level knowledge, right? I know so many line ones who are experts at what they do. They're experts at learning so many different things and going really, really deep into those things to create a solid foundation, right? Do we, do we have all the profiles? I can't, yeah. So what we're going to do is within the profile lines, we do pretty much all have those different energies within us. Right now we're looking at the conscious and unconscious sun, which is 70%. So you are going to feel pieces of the others, but when we're looking at this, really, really focus on those main ones, the conscious and unconscious sun, because those are going to be the fullest expression. But absolutely, absolutely. You have all of these energies within you. And as you get into more advanced human design, that's when you're able to bring like the, the conscious and unconscious Mars and the conscious and unconscious North and South node of the moon and bring in those other pieces where you'll have other profile lines within it, right? And I always, always start with the conscious and unconscious sun because it's a really, really good place to get into the knowledge, right? And so within having this one line, it's really, really about creating a solid foundation for yourself, right? You're the lifelong learner and studier. So what your biggest thing is within your, within your fullest expression of your profile line is really, really about taking insecurity to security. That's the biggest piece, right? Because a lot of one lines actually experience a lot of insecurity because like there's new things to learn and until you feel solid within your knowledge until you feel confident with when within what you know you're going to be communicating insecurity to your audience through yourself through the way you're showing up right like if i didn't know about the profile lines and I was showing up in a place of like, this is just regurgitated knowledge and this wasn't things that I've applied and studied very deeply, I would be highly insecure right now as a one line showing up and providing this information to you, right? And so there's a twofold piece to this, right? Because it can become a shadow for the one lines. Because if you guys are really, really about building this solid foundation, when do you feel solid? right? So there is a, a piece, there's, there's like this really nice balance that you guys have to achieve before you're able to show up in your full power. And this balance is really related to, I don't know enough to, not, to show up confidently. That's where we're like, you should not be showing up and teaching that thing unless you know it and have embodied it, right? If you're feeling tons of insecurity when you're showing up, it's really, really time to look at 
Is this because I truly do not know enough and I have not set the solid foundation for myself to be able to show up and teach this in my power? Or is it because I've convinced myself that I don't know enough because I don't know everything? Right? Do you see those two differences in those pieces? A one line in misalignment will look for information for forever. They will keep going and never actually take action. This is something that has shown up as a shadow theme in my life before I knew, knew about human design, right? I would wait to launch the thing until I was 100% perfect on every single thing. Guess when I launched those things that I wanted to be perfect in? I didn't, right? I wouldn't show up and ask my boss for a raise until I was 100% perfect in everything that I was doing. And if I had a shortcoming, I would be extremely, extremely hard on myself and then not ask for the raise. When, when was the point of readiness? And that's something you really have to ask yourself as a one line is like, do I actually not have a solid foundation or am I going for perfectionism? This will allow you to start to step into your power and move before you're ready if you have a one line. Because what this is really about within, within being a one line is you're about that solid foundation. It, a good example is the world of manifestation, right? So a one line obviously knows that there's millions of things about manifestation. There are so many different techniques to manifest. There are people who are manifesting through dance. There are people who are manifesting through journaling. There are so many methods and modalities. There's Reiki healing for manifestation, right? There's so many different things. The one line, their power is going to be going back to the basics to build a solid foundation, not only for them in their knowledge, but for others. They get to have advanced knowledge, but if they start diving into all of these things and trying to be perfect and don't have that solid foundation, they're not going to be able to show up in their confidence. So a one line is going to be like the basis of manifestation is to act as if the thing you want is already done. That's the foundation right okay so you're a two four now there's something within um and i want to make sure i'm saying sp saying your name right i love you and i see you so much on live but i like mentally say your name and i've never said it out out loud so it's aurelia right aurelia aurelia let me know let me know oh my gosh i hate that i hate mispronouncing people's names and i like you and i have talked so so much and <laughs> i want to make sure i'm saying your name correctly so yes, there is something, okay, Aurelia, beautiful. Oh my gosh, thank you for, for confirming that for me. So yeah, there is something within human design called resonance, right? And so you, you, you within being a two, four, there's going to be some resonance within this. And also like, we're also there, you might have this energy within your, within your moon, right? Your conscious and unconscious moon. So it's going to feel like that. And also with the two line, you, there's a different reason why you're going to be searching for more and more information. So really listen for that because I, I completely understand why you're feeling that resonance, right? And so they're going to go into that space of like really talking about manifestation from that core place. It's going to build so much safety for your audience and so much safety for yourself. So you really just want to be in a space of, am I truly capable of delivering this information? And if you're embodied in it and you know the information, then yes, you are. Don't be going for perfectionism because it will keep you from showing up. It will literally keep you from showing up, right? So within business, within showing up, if you have a one line within business and you're, you're showing up, you're really going to be wanting to show up as, as an authority, right? So within me, within the way I talk about my business, I just spent so much time deep diving into human design. Do I know every single thing about human design? I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. No. Do I have every single gene key, the, the shadow, the gift, and the city memorized? No. Do I have most of my gates and channels and lines memorized? Yes. Do I still miss some? Yes. Do I still need to look at my study material every once in a while? Yes. And if I was going for perfectionism within that, I would have never shown up for you guys. I never would have owned my, my, my spot as an expert within this industry. I'm an expert because of that solid foundation and that embodiment, right? That does not mean I know every single thing about everything. 
right? And so owning your expertise, owning that you're an authority. I talk about myself as a human design practitioner and somebody who's a human design coach. I have owned that expertise and so I'm able to bring it to you in a really confident way. So first off, where are you not owning your expertise and showing up in your power because of perfectionism? That's something that's really important to look at as a one line. What else? You are an anchor, right? Where are you not being an anchor? It would not be effective for me to show up in this masterclass for you guys today and talk to you about every single gene key to talk about, talk to you about every, every single line in, in like the, what is it? What is it called in the incarnation cross? It would not be effective for me to talk about every single channel, right? That would be going way, way too deep. What I'm doing here for you right now is I'm forming a solid foundation in your knowledge, right? And so I'm giving you a level of safety. So where are you not being the anchor for your audience? This comes in a different way too. Are you being consistent? Are you showing up consistently? This is something that is important for all lines. Absolutely. But it comes through in different expressions, different energies. And for the one line, if you are showing up and then dipping and then showing up and then dipping and your audience doesn't know where you are for two weeks, are you forming a solid foundation of safety for them to invest in you, to trust your content, right? So it's a foundation not only in the knowledge, but in how you're engaging and interacting with your audience, which is really, really powerful. So you want to be creating that solid foundation for them, right? So really, really think about if you're showing up in that expression. Does that resonate for everybody who has a one line? Let me know. Let me know. This is so, so powerful. As I started showing up in this, in this energy, I was able to bring a lot of knowledge and information to my audience in a really solid and safe way. I was able to show up more confidently and consistently, and I was able to move before I was ready. This is something that's so, so important. Do the work, do the studies, do the embodiment, know your shit, and then show up before it's perfect. That is where the permission is for the one line to really powerfully start having content that is absolutely magnetic, to start showing up in your brand in a way that is absolutely magnetic. And this expands your aura, it expands your energy, and that's when you're gonna get into a place of having deep, deep resonance with your audience. Let me know, let me know. Line two. Oh my gosh, you're gonna, you're gonna love this, Aurelia. You're gonna love this. Hi, Tony. Oh my gosh. It's so good to see you. It's so, so good to see you. I don't know why your comment just popped up. Maybe I'm blind. Maybe it's entirely possible. Okay. So two lines, two lines. Um, my, my, um, beautiful coach has a two line within her profile and I see it expressed so, so deeply. All of my two lines have such similar problems with like, like showing up. So I love two lines. I love, 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 love two lines. Cause I relate really deeply with them. And that's where we talk about resonance. Like the five and the two have, have a lot of resonance within them. Right. And like, I, I, I just deeply, deeply relate to you guys. So you guys are the hermit. You guys are the Yoda in the cave. I love this expression, the Yoda in the cave. And this is something that came um, from my human design teacher. You guys are really good at what you do. This is something that so many two lines struggle to tap into. You guys are phenomenal at what you do and y'all don't know it, right? That's why I talk about like Yoda in the cave because you guys do have this energy that wants to pull back, right? You're a hermit. You show up and you flow. There's this flow energy with you where you're showing up and then you're kind of retreating. And then you're showing up and then you're retreating, right? And the really interesting thing about the two line, is, <laughs> I totally don't know it. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys just don't know it. Like it's, it's super interesting. Yoda, if you guys know anything about Star Wars, he is like the master Jedi. He is the best of the best. And also he's kind of like, 
he has this energy where it's really intriguing, right? A lot of people are very intrigued by two lines. They're just intriguing. You guys are so, so good at what you do and you don't see it. Here's the thing. Was Yoda ever like, I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the best? No, it just came naturally to him. And that's the thing about you guys is other people see you clearly. You do not see yourself clearly. You do not see your power and expertise. And here's something that I really want you to deeply, deeply, deeply integrate if you're a two line is that the things that come naturally to you, they don't come naturally to other people. I know you think they do. <laughs> I know you think this is just like something that everybody's good at. And so what a lot of two lines can do is they can discredit themselves and they can go, ah, well, it's not that interesting. Other people already know. Everybody's already good at this. What I have to say isn't that special or unique. The way I do this, everybody does that. This isn't special. This is just how I do it. You guys don't realize your genius and your expertise in the things that come naturally to you because they come so naturally to you. You don't have to work hard to be good at the things you're good at. And so you assume that neither do other people. But here's the truth. They do. They do. So let me catch up on these comments. Oh my God, that is so me. Wow. <laughs> don't know it. And when other people tell me, I'm always surprised. That is, that is a huge piece of the two line. Other people see you in your expertise. Other people see how good you are at the things. And some two lines will literally be like, oh no, I'm not that good at it. Or, oh, I, I, I'm surprised you said that. Like, this, is, this isn't a big deal. Y'all better be paying attention when somebody tells you you're good at something because you have to realize that if they're noticing you in it, you are already so freaking good at it and you just haven't fully owned it. The two line, like I said, we're in the lower house. This is really about you first recognizing yourself and then being able to step out and help other people. So where are you not owning that everything you say is amazing? Where are you not owning that the things that are really easy for you are things that are meant to be easy for you so you can teach other people how to do it because it's not easy for them? So, so important. Oh my God, that is so me showing up and then retreat, really trying to fix that. What can happen? This is a shadow for the two line, is y'all can show up, be really good at things, people start recognizing you, and then people ask you for things. And you guys will put a lot of pressure and expectation on yourself because you're not owning your natural ability to do things. So you're putting pressure on yourself. Then you start to get into your not self theme and then you retreat. This is something to really watch for. It can almost be this sense of annoyance when people ask you for things, when people want your help right? Because then it feels like pressure. Then it feels like expectation. And your initial reaction is to retreat. So really, really be aware of when people come in, where you're going into your not self theme and then wanting to retreat. Retreat is very normal and natural for you guys. But make sure it's not coming from a place of being in your not self theme and wanting to get away and make sure it's from a place of refueling, re getting into your passions, re getting into your desires, and then being able to strongly come out and be anchored in the fact that you're really good at what you do. I'm a Manny Jen, so I do things fast and things that come natural to me, but I, I think it can't be that easy. Literally such a huge conditioning piece. You have like this double whammy conditioning piece there of like, you can't do it your way. It doesn't get to be this easy being a Manny Jen. And then the two line of you're really good at things and you don't believe it. So there's like a double, double layer of conditioning there. Okay. Wow. Mind blown. This has been me for forever. Always feeling like everybody can't paint the way I do. Yeah. A hundred percent. When you say two line, do you mean like I'm a two, four or if I have the two line on the chart. So, oh, not a stupid question at all. Thank you so much for asking. So what we're looking at, like if you have a, a point two anywhere on your chart, you're gonna feel this energy in those areas. But what we're really looking at is the, the top, the very top black one and the very top red one. And so you being a two, four, you're gonna be utilizing this energy, right? And this is gonna be your conscious energy. So this is gonna be the strongest one. Something I've noticed too, 
within all of the coaching that I've done within human design, two lines are very strong. Usually when there's a two, four or a two, whatever profile you have, if you have a two within your profile, that's usually the strongest energy. Let me know if that helps, Lindsay. I say that to myself daily. <laughs> yes, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so in a business, how are you guys flowing? How are you guys flowing, right? Obviously, we, we can't even get to the business piece if you guys aren't fully owning that the things that come easy to you are magic to other people. That's something I want you to deeply integrate is like, what I am good at is magic to other people. What comes naturally to me is magic to other people. So you have both lines. So it's kind of like a, a pairing, right? So the profile is when they're in combination. The line is what comes after the point. So um, Brittany, did you drop what you were, what your profile was? Let me know. Because you both, both lines will come into play within that. And it's always the number that's right after the point. Okay, so obviously you need to be owning your shit. You, you need to be showing up from a place. Of, no, internet issues. Hopefully I'm back. Okay, yes. Okay, so you're going to be playing with the three and the five energy as I go through and discuss this. Hopefully you guys can see me. I just got like a poor connection thing, which is really weird because I have phenomenal internet. <laughs> okay, so how can you flow? Because you guys are naturally going to want to retreat. You guys are, na that's naturally part of what you're going to be doing, right? You're going to be showing up. You're going to be talking about the things that you think everybody else is good at, but you're actually really, really good at them. How can you create systems that allow you to flow? How can you get the support you need? How can you create extra content when you're really in flow and then have a backup for when you're not feeling like showing up? This is something that's been so valuable for anybody I coach who's a two line. When they're super inspired and showing up, they will produce so much content. They will have so much to say. And so I have them create a content bank. And so on days when they're feeling really bad or they don't want to show up or they're really in hermit mode and they just don't want anything to do with people, they get to copy and paste from that content board and reshare something that resonated with people a couple of months ago. How can you create systems that support you in your business and your consistency, right? So you can really, really pull back because what will happen is two lines that are forcing themselves to show up, y'all will feel burnt out, right? If you are forcing yourself to show up and you need to be in hermit mode, there will be resentment starting to build. And so you don't want to be in a space of resentment with your business. You don't want to be in a space of resentment with your audience. So what systems do you need? Do you need to hire a VA? Right? Really look at the systems. You don't have to, if you're not in a space to hire somebody, you don't have to. Just show up from a place of how can I make this easy when I don't feel like showing up? How can I create extra content? How can I save the things that resonated? You know, y'all, I repost a lot in this group. The, the post that I made yesterday night about like how to tap into, into your self theme for resonance and manifestation, that's something I posted before. And it felt so aligned to post it last night. I wanted to share some value with you guys. And also, I didn't have new content coming through. So I shared an old piece of content. It's not a crime to share something that's resonated with people. The internet is a very busy place. You sharing the same thing a month apart, nobody's going to notice. And if they do, they're going to thank you. Right? So how can you create systems that really, really support you? And when you guys show up in your power, when you're not showing up from a place of forcing, when you allow yourself to hermit, you have systems to support you. I want you guys to understand that you guys will show up so freaking powerfully. So, so powerfully. Showing up in your power means people have deep resonance with you, deep connection, and they see you as Yoda. They see you as really wise. There's almost this like seductive power that you guys have where it's like, how are you so good at that? Like, like, can you teach me? Like, I want to know more. Like, and obviously like it, it's, it's so powerful. It's just like Yoda. So show up in that energy. The thing I struggle with is, is posting and, and feeling not authentic. Okay. Like if I schedule it and it pops up, I'm like, I'm not that person today. Makes sense. A hundred percent. And so within that, within that you guys, and you were a two, four, so being a two, four, there's a, there's a lot of push and pull of energy. 
right? That's a that's the profile because you're like people hide, people hide. I'm not good at things. People have expectations. There's a lot of push and pull within that profile. Right. And so your authenticity is really going to come from your deep connections and sharing and connecting with people. And also like that. I'm not that person today kind of vibe. It's like, how can you create things that are more on the inspiring spectrum? Right. Where it's more about the inspirational piece. Yeah, that's absolutely me. A hundred percent. The two, four is a complex profile to master. There has to be a lot of forgiveness, right? Because Lindsay, you have really powerful connections, right? Everything in your life is based off of connection, but also this desire to hide and also this, this feeling of not being as good as at things as you actually are and thinking that everybody's good at them. But it's it's this piece of like, how can we bring that authentic expression into those reposts? How can we get into a space where we're maybe sitting down once a week where we're feeling inspired and creating the vibe and creating content from that space so it's fresher, you know? And so it's not like repost from three months ago, but it's a repost from like four or five days ago, right? That kind of vibe. I feel the same, yeah, oh my gosh amazing. So we're going to tap into it. And you, as you guys learn more about this, bring that other line in because that other line will help you be in the most authentic expression, right? Because within this, with, and I, 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 I want to get into the, I'm going to coach you guys just for a second. So within the two line, feeling like this isn't the most authentic expression of you comes back to you not fully owning how magical everything you're saying is. Right? So when it feels like it's not an authentic expression and you're doing a repost of content, is it because you think it's not good enough? Right? Is it because you think that your audience isn't going to resonate with it? Remember, this is a self anointing. This is a space where we go into what I, what comes naturally to me is magic to other people. So why is that piece of content not resonating? Is it because it's not resonating with you or because you think it's not going to resonate with other people? Is it because you haven't fully owned that it's magic? That's something to dive into. Three lines. Where are my three lines? Oh my gosh. It is already 1142. We're going a little bit over today. That's what I've decided. So my three lines, you guys are the martyrs, my experimenters, my hands-on learners. Okay, so you guys are the people who are always falling forward, always falling forward. Within having a three line, this is something where a lot of people are freaking hard on themselves. So, so hard on themselves, right? Because you guys, there is a lot of trial and error in your life and you guys are hands on about it. The one line's a little bit more careful. They're going to do their research beforehand. They're going to see if the stove is hot. They're going to look at the, all the buttons. You guys are the people who are going to touch the stove. You're like, I need to know. And you'll touch the stove and then you'll be like, oh my God, that's hot. You guys are lifelong learners and you guys can be so freaking hard on yourselves because you aren't understanding that there is no failure. This is something I really want you to deeply integrate. If you are a three line is there is no failure. It is falling forward. With three lines, there has to be this ease within your life, right? There has to be this flow. And so many three lines can get very stuck on, I have to be perfect. I have to do this right. Nobody, everybody thinks I always make mistakes. I have to do this right. Because you guys are deeply conditioned as children. Like, why are you always messing up? Why do you have to touch the stove? Why'd you touch the stove? Why'd you fail this class? Why'd you drop out of college? That judgment can become your own internal voice. So I want you to see this as fun. It's fun because you guys get to try out what works and what doesn't work. You guys aren't failing, you're falling forward. It's always a forward momentum, right? And so within that, you give yourself a lot more permission, right? Permission is a huge thing. So you guys are always in the midst of deep transformation. My three lines are people who three months ago, they're not the same person. And then they're not going to be the same person in three months from now. And so in your brand, your power is in storytelling and sharing your experiences and sharing what works and what doesn't work. But so many three lines get stuck in a place of judging themselves so, so hard for making these mistakes 
that they're not showing up from a place of this is fun. We're falling forward. There is no failure, right? And so when you bring that lightness into your life and you allow just this flow and this ebb and like, oh, that didn't work. We get to move on. Oh, that works. Oh, that didn't work. We give ourselves a lot of permission to show up more authentically in our brand, in our business. But if we're going, oh my God, this didn't work. I'm such a failure. I never get things right. This is awful. We're not giving ourselves the permission, right? We're not giving ourselves the permission. Aw, this training is so helpful. I appreciate it. Oh, I appreciate you for being here. Thank you for saying that. I'm just going to describe myself as complex going forward. <laughs> Y'all are a bit complex. Y'all are a bit complex, right? And so it's this real balance that you're learning. Oh, amen. This is bomb. So confirming. Love this. Oh, I'm so glad that this is resonating. So within being a three line, understand your power to go first. Understand that you are falling forward and tap into the power of storytelling. Tell your audience where it didn't work. Tell your audience what they're go what you're going through. You guys are forming a really solid foundation based on hands-on learning and what does work and what doesn't work are equally as important, equally as beneficial to you. And when you approach life with that lightness, you just allow yourself to flow. It's just like, oh, that didn't work. Oh, that worked. Oh, that didn't work. And it gets to be fun. We want to bring a lot of fun in for the three lines. Okay. Let's talk about the upper house, four, five, and six. These ones are about yourself, but they're very deeply connected to other people, right? We're really starting to get into the place where it's about other people's projections of us, how we're impacting other people, right? All of the first three lines, you guys are very involved with people through two, but it's all about inner anointing. I know my stuff. I'm, I'm good enough to show up that self anointed power. And then you're able to impact people. These lines, they really start with the impacting of people. So let's talk about the fours. Lindsay, you're gonna like this. Okay, you guys are the opportunists, the influencers and the community driven people. This is why this is confusing because there's like this piece that pulls back and this piece that's like people, community, connection, right? It's a big balance for the two four. So within the four, you guys are really, really deeply about your connections. It's crazy because every connection that you have is from another connection, right? It's all based on connection for you guys. So you guys are the connection people. So you need to be sharing what you're learning through community. You need to be sharing with your community and deepening those relationships and really, really honoring them, right? So you represent these people and these, and these connections. And a lot of times the shadow for the four line is thinking that they're not good enough. Thinking that people don't like them. Being afraid of being judged. That's a huge one for the four line. But here's the thing. Judgment happens when we're already judging ourselves, right? Because somebody can judge me, but if I know that that's not true, it's not going to really affect me. So where are you judging yourself as not being good enough? as fear that people are going to leave, right? Because when you're showing up with that fear of, I need people to like me, then what you're doing is you're collapsing your aura. You're collapsing that expansion because naturally knowing that you in your most authentic version will have people like you, right? Something I love to say, like I said yesterday, I like me, so your like is extra. And then you get to go into a powerful space of going, I know people like me. I know people love what I have to say. My connections matter to me, right? That's when you're able to show up in your power in those situations. So watch for that shadow because that will keep you from being authentic. And so four lines in business, I want you to ask yourself how you can deepen your connection with your people how you can share more of your life, how you can share more of your story, how you can care about your people more. This goes back to yesterday of, are you seeing your audience as enough or are you seeing them as numbers? Are you seeing it as something where you have to grow and get bigger? 
because you guys, if you power, if you are able to tap into the power of people love you and people love what you have to say, and then the power of one connection is incredibly strong and worth nurturing and worth going deeper in, your audience, your expansion is going to be huge. All it takes is the one right connection and it can be explosive for you guys. Your whole brand, your whole business can explode. But you have to be seeing yourself as somebody who's worthy of being connected with. Somebody who, when you speak, people love to hear from you, right? People love to be connected with you, right? When you're more authentic, it's not that, it, like this fear of authenticity is really tied to if I am my true, fully expressed self and I go deep with my people, they're going to leave me. Here's the thing. I like me, so your like is extra. When I have a message coming through, a truth coming through me, I have to speak it and you guys have to speak it. And so I want you to tap into the deep power and knowingness and trust that this is how your system operates. This is how your aura operates in deep connection. Connection can be scary, right? But I want you guys to really trust that this is the expansion of your aura and that the right people are always coming in when you're true to yourself right? And so go deeper with your audience, appreciate your people more, show them that you love them. Tell them the things you're experiencing, go deeper, really connect with people, really be genuine with people, appreciate people that will benefit you so, so much in aligning within your brand, within your profile. It is powerful. Oh my God, I did a meditation and the word connector came through. Wow. Um, but I didn't understand what it meant. <laughs> Stop. I just got full body chills. Oh my God. Oh, Lindsay, that's so freaking powerful. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm emotional. <laughs> I love that. That is so freaking powerful for you. I, I love that on the selling masterclass. So powerful. Yes. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. So powerful for you guys. Yes, I get it now. That is so powerful. I literally have full body chills. So that's how you guys can really align to your power. Absolutely, Lindsay. Thank you for sharing that with us. That's so powerful. Where are my five lines? Where are my five lines? I have a five line. And this is very, very related to, to how I show up in my brand, how I show up into my business. I, I love fives, you know, like it's a fun line. It's a fun line. So you guys are the heretics. That's such a strong word. Yeah, Brittany, <laughs> you're a three, five, right? Um, yeah, we are very deep changers, right? And there's a lot of projection with the, within the five line. You as a five line are very elusive, but intriguing, elusive, but, and intriguing. Cause here's the thing about five lines. People don't really know you. This is like the opposite of the two, the two line where people are looking in and they see you and you don't see yourself. I see me, you guys only see a, a projection of me. You only see a piece of me, right? I see myself very fully. So people don't really, really know you. And I know five lines will relate to this because we have this deep inner feeling of like, Nobody really knows me, you know, like that feeling that a lot of five lines, a lot of five lines feel that way, right? And so what happens is you as a five line are constantly projecting a message and a persona out to your people. It's just how it is, right? We're projecting out to them. And what happens is people are projecting what they think of us onto us, right? You guys have projections of me as a five one, like you guys have a vision of who I am and that may or may not be true, but it's not a full picture of who I am. Right? It's not a full picture. And so we can kind of get this feeling of like, nobody really knows who I am, but I choose how I show up. I choose how I'm perceived. This is a kind of a confusing line, right? Because I'm showing up super, super powerfully here as a human design 
coach, as a human design practitioner, as a human design pre teacher, like next weekend, I'm going to the Renaissance Festival and dressing as a fairy. <laughs> like nobody sees these pieces of me, right? It feels like people don't get a full encompassment of who you are. And so you have to be in absolute integrity with what you do. This is very, very important because five lines, like obviously we all should be in, in integrity with what we're doing, but five lines, what's happening is if you are not in integrity of with what you're doing, there would be a complete break breakdown. If I was not in integrity with what I was teaching you guys right now, my aura would be like this and it would just not be a vibe. <laughs> I see I see you as a fairy. Oh my gosh. See, we're good. <laughs> I'm being a fully expressed version of myself, Lindsay. I love that. Oh my God, I love that. I love the Renaissance <laughs> fairy. And I always dress like a Viking fairy. Oh my gosh, you're such a badass. I love that so much. I love you guys. <laughs> this is so much fun. I feel seen. My five line feels seen. Thank you for seeing me. <laughs> So um, something we really have to watch for as five lines is being saviorized, being seen as the savior. Because here's the thing, five lines come in with a new way of doing things, always. Like we see the places where people can improve better than other people see themselves, right? I can tell my friends exactly what to do in almost any situation. This is why I make a phenomenal coach any, any line can be a phenomenal coach, by the way. We all have our unique strengths to tap into. But when my clients come to me, I'm like, I see exactly what you should do. And they're like, oh, wow. Five lines might have a little bit of trouble um, seeing themselves too, right? There's that resonance between the five and two line where the five line might be like, it was easy for me to see like, duh, you were supposed to do that. Like, this is mind blowing to you, what? You know, that's sometimes how I show up with my clients. It's like, that was so mind blowing. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I guess it was mind blowing. I'm like, that, that seemed very normal to me. Very just like no brainer. Right. And so sometimes I'm like, the things I'm, I'm saying aren't magical. And then you guys are like, oh my God, I love this masterclass. I'm like, oh, yay. <laughs> you know, so that kind of vibe, but people can project onto us and then we can go into savior mode. This is something where we really, really want to be tapping into our strategy and authority because oftentimes my five line wants to help. It sees how people can do things better and people sense that from you. People sense that you are somebody who is very good at helping them. And so what will happen is people will have a lot of expectations that they place on you and you have to be tapping into your strategy and authority to make the decisions on if it's something that you want to participate in. I see so many five lines burnt out from trying to help everyone. From having the projection of you're going to save me put on them. Right? We don't have to save anybody. That's something that's really, really important. So showing up in your business, you are really good at leadership. You are really good at leading others and leading yourself. And so you have to own that, right? You have to go back. It's almost like the two line. You have to own that what you're saying is really powerful and that the right people are seeing it all the time, right? And here's something else. You get to, you get to invite your people in more. Right? With the five line, it feels like people don't truly know me. I get to mitigate that by showing up more fully as who I am for you guys. And I do that by sharing the things that I'm going through and things that I'm in my power in. There's a very distinct specification here that I want you guys to pay attention to if you have a five line. Our social media is not a diary and it is not a place to share things where we are still super emotionally charged about it. The distinction is, is you want to share your story and the things that you're going through from a place of power, right? There are still things that I'm not sharing about my personal life because I'm not in a place of being fully out of it yet. So I can bring the benefit to you guys. Could I use my social media as a diary and be like, oh, I'm sad about this or I'm going through this and all these things. Yes, but that is not the leadership piece that you guys need from me. You guys need me to be leading in my own life, in my power about these situations, and then bringing my powerful lessons to you. There's a huge distinction there. So within showing up in your brand and your business, where can you own your leadership? 
Where can you see yourself and help other people and bring your lessons forward, lessons that you are in your power on? That's how you find alignment. And also, don't be savoring. Don't be the savior. There's no pressure to be the savior. Right? Okay, what time are we at? Okay, noon. We're doing really good. We're doing so, so good. Okay, six lines. Where are my six lines at? Six lines and six people live. I love this. <laughs> I love it so much. Where are my six lines? Okay, six lines are a complex profile, if you, or a complex line. So within being a six line, if you guys have any familiarity with six lines, y'all go through a process. You go through three phases where you are different things. You guys are the role model, right? So you, excuse me, you guys are really, really powerful leaders. A six line will be one of the most powerful leaders within the, within the human design chart. We can all, or within the human design lines, we can all be leaders a hundred percent, but the leadership felt from a six line, so freaking powerful. So, so freaking powerful. So six lines, you guys are really, really big visionaries. Really, really big visionaries. <laughs> My cat's wandering around. <laughs> really big visionaries and you guys are huge huge transformation people Ooh, two six i love that love the two six huge huge transformations i talked about the three line being a different person every three months y'all are like completely different humans every three months you guys go through really really big transformations and how it basically works within these three phases is from zero to thirty you guys are actually expressing as a three line. So all of the things that I said in the three line, go back, re-listen, re-watch if you're zero, between zero and 30, because that's the phase you're in right now. And what happens is you guys are even more hard on yourself during this phase because you guys know that you're a six line. So there has to be even more permission that you're giving yourself through the falling forward, through the mistakes, right? Because you resonate with the six line. But during that first phase of life, you're actually a three line. So once you get to the second phase, you're actually kind of just in between. You're at a transition phase. And this is between the ages of 30 and 50. These are not exact, by the way. Some people are a little bit behind in that. Some people are a little bit faster moving in that. It has to do with your Saturn return and your Chiron return. So between the ages of 30 and 50, you guys are actually kind of pulling back. I'd say you more deeply resonate with a two line at this point because you guys go into a space of like the first 30 years of my life kind of traumatized me, right? Because of the mistakes and things. And so you guys go into this phase between 30 and 50 of deep healing, deep integration, and deep wisdom. This is where people in your life are really going to be starting to see you as wise. So if you're between zero and 30 in your brand, you should be sharing the things you're going through just like the three line and being a lot more forgiving with yourself because you guys are naturally going to be harder on yourselves. Between, the, between 30 and 50, this is where you're showing up and sharing your wisdom, but also giving yourself a lot of space because there's a lot of healing going on during this phase in time, right? You're doing reflection. You're reflecting on like, Ooh, the first 30 years were rough, right? Lots of deep reflection. And this is where everybody in your audience, everybody in your life is gonna start seeing you in a different light. If you're in this age of 30 to 50, you're gonna notice that your family and your friends are starting to treat you a little bit differently. They're starting to see you as wise. They're starting to come to you for more advice. Use this within your audience. Bring that wisdom forward, right? You have so much wisdom. And then after the age of 50, you guys fully, fully transition into being a six line. This is where I haven't looked at Tony Robbins profile, but I'm, I'm certain he has a six in his profile. This is where you guys have gone through the deep transformations. You're still going to go through deep transformations, but now you guys are freaking powerful leaders because you've done all that time of healing. You've done all that, you did all those years of trial and error. And now you are ready to bring that deep transformation forward and deeply transform other people's lives. You guys are highly, highly, highly magnetic. 
right? You guys are so freaking highly magnetic. And so you guys are an embodied leader. And so you bring that massive change and transformation to other people. So the biggest place where you guys can tap into your power, no matter where you are at in the spectrum of being like the, being the three line, being up on the roof in that, in that gap or a six line is storytelling. Storytelling is how you are going to powerfully, powerfully resonate with your audience. And it has to be from a place of acceptance, right? We're falling forward. We're never failing. We're becoming wiser, right? And so you are the people who are going first, always. You're going first and other people are following you. So where can you give yourself more acceptance, more permission to fall forward and own that wisdom, own that leadership? Because it's going to feel like it comes very naturally to you. Those huge transformations are something that is going to hugely transform other people's lives. Can you trust that? Or are you putting pressure on yourself to show up in a perfect version of you? Right? You guys are super, super wise. And I really, something that's really, really important for you guys is to really trust that life is constantly going to be unfolding for you. So many, so many six lines can get stuck in a place of like, what now? You've gone through the huge transformation. And it's like, what now? How can you be in the present? How can you understand that life is constantly going to be unfolding for you and be in a space of, I know I'm right on the edge of another transformation. How can I share what I've just learned? Right? That what now energy can kind of get you feeling stuck. But it's like, if you see life as constantly unfolding and constantly building and constantly moving forward with constant momentum, then you're really able to tap into what feels good now? What needs deep transformation now? And trust that life is leading you along for your next deep transformation. I have a six, I'm a two six. Oh my God, that so resonates. I'm 32 and now feeling so much more relaxed and easier on myself, 100%. This transition is sometimes very like drastic. In the, in the 28 to 32 range, it's like all of a sudden like, oh my God, I can breathe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and so you're entering into a phase of deep reflection and deep healing. So did you guys, I love you all. Thank you so, so much for being here. If you have enjoyed this masterclass, leave a review in the group, tag me on social media. I, it, it, my five line will literally cry. It loves it so, so much. Cause sometimes I'm a little bit like a two line. So I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for being here. Um, this was incredible. This was such an incredible masterclass three day series. And I cannot wait to bring you guys more masterclasses. I will see you all later. Thank you for being here. Bye.